Hello again from the Federal Housing Finance Agency. I'm Anju Waja, Principal Associate Director in FHFA's Division of Research and Statistics. Today, we release the House Price Index Report and data for the second quarter of 2023. In this video, I would like to talk about the latest trends in house prices in the United States at four levels of geography, national, regional, state, and the top 100 metropolitan areas using FHFA Purchase Only House Price Index. At the national level, the U.S. market saw a 3.0% appreciation from the year prior and a 1.7% increase from the first quarter of 2023. Year over year, house price appreciation had been slowing over the past five quarters, reaching its peak in the first quarter of 2022 at 18.7% while year-over-year -year house price gains have been decreasing, we have seen 46 consecutive quarters of growth. In contrast, the quarterly house price gains have been gradually accelerating over the past three quarters. Owing in part to low housing supply of existing homes on the market, house prices continue to appreciate despite high mortgage rates. On an annual basis, seven of the nine census divisions recorded positive house price appreciation. The Pacific and the Mountain Census Divisions saw house price declines of 2 and 2.1% respectively. In all nine Census Divisions, house price appreciated over the second quarter of 2023, including the Pacific and the Mountain Census Divisions, where the quarterly house price changes had been negative over the previous three quarters. On an annual basis, house prices declined in eight states and the District of Columbia. All eight states are in the Pacific and Mountain Census Divisions. On a quarterly basis, house prices increased in all 50 states and declined in the District of Columbia. Finally, we present the changes in house prices for the top 100 metropolitan areas for the second quarter of 2023. On an annual basis of the top 100 metro areas, 26 recorded house price declines, and the remaining 74 recorded house price increases. Two metro areas recorded a double-digit increase, and two metro areas recorded a double-digit decline in house prices. On a quarterly basis, only eight metro areas recorded house price declines, while the remaining metro areas registered price growth. We continue to observe some divergence in house price growth among metropolitan areas within the same state. For example, in Texas, house prices rose by 10.3% on an annual basis in the El Paso metro area and declined by 11.8% in the Austin Round Rock Georgetown metro area. Changes in house prices are determined by local supply and demand, resulting in the observed variation among metro areas within a state. To find more information, on house price changes for all states, the top 100 metropolitan areas, and more, you can read the full report, download data, and interact with our online tools by visiting fhfa.gov hpi. The FHFA House Price Index quarterly video series will return in November with data through the third quarter of 2023. For FHFA, I'm Anju Waja. Thank you for watching.